Hello there. Turn me back for another video on SQL Server. We're still on the topic of querying, but that'll be fixed in a little while. If you're really eager to get on and start doing some really advanced stuff and uh, getting straight to the point of SQL, well, you're not ready for that yet. So, what we're going to do now is we have the select statement, and you should know um, the basics of select. Now, another basic is that let's say you had you wanted to know. Okay, let's first of all look at my entire table. Sorry, um, execute, and I let's say I had many many more flavors, and I just wanted to get one. Well, it would take a few hours to go down and up and find that one um, flavor that I wanted to check. But instead of that, the smart person that made SQL came up with this command. Where? The where clause will only select something from the table. So let's say you wanted, um, let's say you had a list, um, and you wanted to select one flavor from that list. It would go, select star from eye cream, yes, but then, you, you, again, you do not want to scroll through the whole thing. So what you would do is you would go where flavor equals, in single quotes, type in what the flavor you want. Let's say I want vanilla. What I'd do is I'd go execute and it'll only give me the result for vanilla. Let me see if I have another um, table that um, I think I had one. Yes, here tester. Uh, that was my first table. Select star from tester. So this is all the um, records I have um, for this table. Now um, what we want to do with this table is we want to let's say find only the people with the last name um this last name which I cannot say um select star from tester where l name equals It gives me the only two results that have um, the last name as last name there. So this is what you would do. And let's say you want it, Let's say you had an ID in your table uh, that fits in with my ice cream table. So select star from ice cream. Let's say you had a person ID, like who is what, and someone gave you their ID and you wanted to check them in the database. What you do, select star from eye cream where serial equals, uh, let's say the person's ID is four. Now, this code is just an example. Cereal could be whatever you want to name it. Eye cream could be whatever the table is. Star, you could just have the cereal and the first name and the last name. Uh, yeah. So, and then this four too. You could, it could be anything. It could be, it has to be the person's ID. So then, let's execute that. And there, we have cereal four flavored chalk bar. 
quantity on hand, cost, and SID. So, what we want to do now is we're getting a little more advanced with the where statements. So why not let's why not say let's say there was a spe specification the person's ID is this and uh, their first name is this let's see if um, this works this would um, be a little more um, appropriate to do with my tester table so select start from tester tester um, and then let's just check out that table. Here we have many records, and we want to find a specific one. Remember when I did a specific last name? Two um, uh, family members came up in this table. So what I want to do is just get one specific person uh, from that family. So what you're going to do is select start from tester, where f name is equal to um, f name is equal to their f name, their first name. L name is equal to their last name. And then anyone could have the name, first name, last name, but let's say you have their email you want to enter that in too email equals now if you just do this it's an error what you want to do is and and so it'll give you the specific result that has the F name as the first name you want, last name as the last name you want, and the email as the email you want. And then if you're really specific, instead of um, email, you could put in address or something like that. But then if you um, didn't know the address, that wouldn't be good. So that's why I do, like, you wouldn't, so address can be null. No. But email, last name, and first name cannot. So I'd rather query first name, last name, and email rather than querying the address and the, let's say, last name and first name because the address can be null and then it'll give you many results because anyone can have the same first name and last name. Although that is rare, it happens. So that's our um, tutorial for... SQL where statement like the video if you like the video like it if you dislike it then dislike it uh, subscribe to my channel and yeah goodbye